What's up everybody? My name is Joe and this is the Family Flips channel and that is my wife Jessica. And uh, we are eBayers. What we do is uh, we buy Amazon return pallets, uh, shelf pulls, all kinds of stuff and uh, we flip them. So uh, what we've got here, this is the pallet that we are going to be doing today. And uh, as y'all are joining in, uh, just comment, let us know uh, that you're on, where you're from. And uh, if you haven't seen any of our other unboxing videos, make sure you check out our channel. And if this is your first time checking out our channel, uh, make sure uh, that you subscribe and turn on notifications so that you get notified when we do uh, other live videos of pallet unboxing and so forth. So if you have any questions about anything uh, as we are unboxing these pallets, kind of our process, what we'll do is uh, we'll unbox, we'll go through some prices, we'll kind of talk about uh, how they're going to be shipped, uh, things that we're going to be selling local, and uh, just dialoguing with you guys as uh, you join in. So uh, we're going to get started. There we go. So box number one. And let me know if y'all can hear me out there. And uh, kind of, I know we did a pallet unboxing on Friday. That was a pretty successful pallet. And uh, usually on each pallet, uh, we'll find at least one or two items that will sell that will pay for the entire pallet. Since we buy, buy by the truckload, we obviously we get pallets for cheaper uh, than what you would individually, but where we get our pallets from is American Pallet Liquidators. They're located in uh, Jeffersonville, Indiana. I got this cool little bag. It's like a real nice little backpack uh, bag. I don't see any tags on it, so I'm not sure exactly who it is. I'm gonna look inside, see if I can't find something uh, that will indicate who it is so we can kind of uh, look up who uh, who is making this so that we can see what a price is and uh, but I've never seen it it's a cool little bag a maybe a bag? motor maybe, maybe a, not a motorcycle bag but it's got oh, protection plus markings in it and uh, I'm gonna look on Amazon real quick and uh, we'll kind of go through we check Amazon prices obviously you know it's for new uh, how we do it is we'll we'll sell items uh, most of these items from what we found in our experience is about 60 percent of these items uh, are in new condition they could be uh, you know the customer bought it it was the wrong size it didn't fit they didn't like it wrong color uh, for whatever reason but about 60 percent of these items that we get are uh, um, are new and then usually about 25 percent of these items are um, they've been used lightly used they may have a few cosmetic issues they may be missing a screw uh, and then usually about 10 to 15 percent of these are uh, they need to be repaired uh, they just they're broken um, all kinds of stuff so it really just depends it's looking like this bag here i've got one that's kind of similar maybe a drone backpack is what it's looking like now that you see inside it's compartmentalized so you can put a drone in there there are some other drone backpacks that are on here on amazon i'm not sure of the brand but they're selling for about a hundred bucks so it's a pretty cool little find uh the first one we we always try and keep these boxes with the items that way when we go to ship those we have already got a box that fits and uh, so we'll go. So cool little find, 100 bucks first item. That's good. That's awesome. And as you can see over here, if I put my hand out of the way, but we've got these little silver racks over there. Those are what we do our cues. And uh, if y'all don't mind, those that are watching, uh, just give us a thumbs up. If y'all like this video, comment. It's like this is a heating element something. I have yeah. no idea what it's going to be for. It'll probably go in a local uh, bin when we do uh, bin sales. This got? is a giant hamster ball for people. Oh, <laughs> is there two in there? Um, no, I think there's one, but the item price was one twenty nine ninety nine. So it's one of those giant hamster balls uh, that people go in. Uh oh, that you see people running around in. That might be. Uh, 
for a corporate event. <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty cool. I always wanted to get it one. And uh, so it looks like we got a ceiling fan it thing right here. There. Yeah. You want to show them? I can... Yeah. It don't matter. It's like an anchor inflatable ball. And uh, that one all right. From the looks of it, you know. Right there on the top. I don't know if they can see this, Joe. I don't think honest. you can. But uh, I don't know if you ever seen plastic that's uh, before it's been inflated. That's what that looks like. So it doesn't look like it's ever been inflated. And uh, those are retailing for one twenty nine on eBay. Be interesting to see what they sell on. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, one twenty nine on Amazon. So it'll be interesting to see what they retail on eBay. And uh, this is a ceiling fan, and uh, it hasn't been taken out of the box. The ceiling fan blades are still all wrapped up. And uh, it's going to be fun to uh, see the brand because that's an, uh, some language that I do not know. So it's going to be kind of hard to figure out price. Can you get out of here, Matthew? Yes, sir. Later, dude. Bye, Matthew. So that's kind of cool. That ceiling fan, brand new. I want to see that inflatable thing. So that's kind of be neat. Somebody can help. This so heavy. All right. Looks like this is a water faucet. We sold one of these the other day. Not not quite. This one's not as nice as the one we sold, but we sold it for one sixty. Here we go. And, uh, but we'll have to find a brand on this one. It's probably got some paperwork on the inside. But we'll put it in our little rack over here. I believe those are toilet paper holders, I believe. What is this? I think part of the trouble with this pallet stuff and these boxes is finding out exactly uh, what, this? what this stuff is. So it's part of the research. And I still have no idea what that is after looking at it. But there's two of them in here. It's so, like a stand of something. Any of y'all know? Toilet paper holder. Uh, you put it flat. Oh, yeah. Maybe toilet paper in there. That may be it. If y'all know what this is, y'all comment. They look nice. But whatever it is, we'll have to look. I don't know if we can find an item like that on, on, oh, on no. Amazon. What? I just lost my box cutters in this box over here. Oh, you're not getting it out of there. No, not until we get to it. <laughs> my bad. Whoopsie. So now you're going to steal my box cutter. Hey, uh, <laughs> we're married. My box cutter over your box cutter. Oh, I see. This is like a white office chair. If any of y'all are married out there, y'all know how that goes. You lose the... I'm interested to see what this is. This is a box. This is a, what the catch, babe? That was awesome. Yeah. Presentation boards. Oh, like the the ones that we use for our picture yeah. changing station. But it's there's something else in here. Yeah. Did you see what this is? It's a white uh, computer ah. chair. Let's see if I got some of the boxes all destroyed. So we'll probably put this one together. Oh, this is And uh, figure out exactly. Uh, White what it is. Pretty good. Yeah, the white, we get a lot of uh, dry erase boards. That's what this is right here. And uh, I still don't know what this is. I'm just going to put it to, over here. We'll put it together on another day. And happy Thanksgiving week to all y'all. All right. That box, and if any of y'all are traveling, we are in Conway, Arkansas. So, if any of y'all are traveling through and you want to say hi, I know uh, Conway is kind of on a busy uh, change. Make sure this feels cloth, I don't want to cut the box, whatever's on the inside. It's like a comforter. Oh, that's a nice looking comforter. Comforters are usually pretty good money. I get it's been open before. I'm not finding any markings on it. Looks like a Comfort Spaces comforter. And I'm gonna check a little price real quick. We haven't done a lot of that yet. Some of these boxes kind of hard to find. And uh, if any of you are wondering about how much you know we profit off these pallets, 
uh, we usually at least quadruple our money. Um, you know, we've got several employees just because the amount of stuff that we list. Uh, but if you're looking at doing this uh, by yourself, you could easily uh, make quite a bit of money uh, flipping pallets. Uh, a lot of people ask us, you know, why do we flip pallets? Uh, for one, you know, a lot of people, they, looks like this one here, I just found it. It's like it's uh, 60 bucks. This one, it's probably been used, maybe not been used. It smells new. No bed bugs. In the name of Jesus. And, um, but we, we, we do pallets just because, uh, you know, I enjoy having it shipped to me. Can you help with that? This is a uh, lawn chair. Lawn chair. And I found this interesting little thing. I don't know what, why, but it is a used, ah. heavily used um, <laughs> pickaxe. Yeah. So that's, I don't know why, I don't know. I have no idea why that's in here. Maybe part of uh, return fraud. Yeah. We get a, usually about 5% five, five of what we find, especially with car parts. Uh, we get a lot of, uh, I'm not going to open this up. But I'm going to look it up. Lawn chairs are uh, usually pretty good money. It's a beach chair. Two-piece. Alpha camp. And, uh, but he's about 5%. A lot of auto parts. Usually about half of those that we get in are uh, the old uh, auto part. It's not the new one, which sucks. So, unfortunately, I know a lot of you people are eBayers or Amazon people. And uh, you experience that return fraud. I see it on a lot of this stuff and uh, the thing about it is I know with Amazon if you've ever returned anything to Amazon is uh, they refund you before they actually ever get the item so I'm thankful that eBay does not have us do that um, just because I you know I've gotten messed up items before I've gotten items back that uh, were not what I sold somebody uh, so Amazon that's crazy that they do that so I'm, I'm just glad that eBay does not make us do that I'm glad that we we get a couple days to inspect the product before uh, um, before we have to refund somebody just uh, last week I guess it was two weeks ago this is a $50 lawn chair uh, so that's a pretty cool beach chair it's gonna go to the side and get ready for next season um, this is a window regulator babe right here window regulator but I had a guy buy a cell phone and uh, it was when we were moving if you didn't see that that vlog video that we did you can go ahead and check it out on our channel and uh, just detail our moving week and uh, looks like a window regulator make sure it's the new one and not the old ones and uh, unfortunately I don't really I can't really tell. Thinking about some of these parts, they're for not in the engine compartment. No idea if uh, they're the new part or the old part. So uh, I have no idea. But it's a window regulator. I'm sure it's got the part number on there somewhere that I can look up. Not very exciting. So I'm just going to put this one on the shelf and figure it out later. What you got there? A retractable door screen? Yep. Isn't that what you're wanting? Yep. So it's funny. Um, we have a habit. The Lord, we're, we're believers in Jesus. And uh, like we'll just talk about something that we want. And a lot of times we won't even speak it out. We'll just, we'll just say it in our head. Can we just scoot that over? Yeah, I'll scoot it. And uh, we just moved into a new house this last weekend, so there's things that we have been wanting that a lot of times what we have found is uh, the stuff that we want, we say it comes in on one of the first pallets that we get, so it's, it's kind of crazy. I know last week's oh, pallet fingers. we unloaded... Um, I forget what day it was, Wednesday or something. Yeah, thank you, coolers. And, uh, yeah, I've, I've seen that. So car parts, I'm usually a little leery to even sell because you're right. Like, this is, um, they're all built on the inside. They're not the compartments. And uh, so it's kind of hard to tell. 
I'm just going to move these. These are pants hangers. I can't even look, but this is. That writing's not really messed up. So this palette's not really exciting yet. A lot of it's, you know, it's worth some money. But uh, we're going to put it down there. What, you want me to run the bottom? Yeah, it'd be fine. All right. Oh. Woo. eBay sale. Cha-ching. But there is uh, a couple things that I that we wanted. Another comforter. Jess has got another comforter down there. Plain old gray. But uh, I said in my head I wanted a mannequin because we got some bikinis in. Can you cut that open? Yeah. And uh, then we needed a uh, a mat for the floor uh, to go underneath office chairs because the carpet in the office was a little thin. That's the second one we've got from that. What is that? This is a... Uh, I almost wish I could tilt the camera down so you can see. Oh! An automatic pool cleaner. Oh, okay. Uh, we've got another one of these. These retail for like $150. Yeah. And uh, I'll have to check in here. But it's still got the, the plastic shavings on it and everything. So it just doesn't even appear to be used. We may not sell it until next year. But we will sell it for some pretty good money. So that's cool. It's not glamorous, but it is money. And then I uh, I complained about my feet hurting. Let me put this in the box. We always will unload boxes and we'll forget to put this stuff back in. So uh, I forgot. But I wanted a fatigue mat because I was standing on the floor and uh, I don't know what box to get. Looks like a, uh, ooh, that's broken. Well, that sucks. What is it? Oh. Like a bookshelf where they can see that. Woo! That was terrifying. Well, that about got me. Anyways, that's broken. It's like it got damaged in the box. I can't even take it out. I can see that right there. It's all busted up. So that's going to go in our parts pile because I'm always trying to build stuff around here and I'm a little cheap. So, oh, that clothing rack trying to take me up. This is 40 bucks. So she got an umbrella holder. I don't know if you want to hold it up and look. Oh, I'm not pulling it. Oh. Umbrella base. How's your box cutter? Oh, it was in there? Yep. Yeah. Anyways. This is a chair and table combo cart, looks like, for banquet halls and stuff like that. Uh, I'll have to put it together have to make sure all the parts are there. And, uh, I don't know, it's been open before. Oh! That is really be careful. Alright, let's see what's in here. Let us see what's in this box. It feels soft, so I don't want to cut it with my box cutters. Oh, it is, I don't know, but it's white and it's cloth and it's a pillow, I believe, actually. Two pillows. Looks like they open one and then like the other. There's some tall boxes over here. What size returns are these? Medium box returns. These are medium box return and uh i know american palette liquidators they have these for sale uh when i was buying them by the palette individually they were running uh 500 bucks you may be able to find them cheaper elsewhere i don't know but i don't know if you saw the beginning of the video you can see these palettes here behind me that these uh pallets are nine feet tall or anywhere from eight to eight to nine feet tall they weigh you know, five, six hundred pounds. They've got lots of stuff on them. Box of Kleenex. <laughs> we needed some Kleenex. We just ran out of Kleenex. Did we? That's awesome. Yeah, we did. And uh, but these are the media box. We got some small box returns also. But I think if we did an unboxing on those, we would skip over a lot of stuff just because there is way so much stuff on there. And uh, but anyways, back to the story. The fatigue mat, the mannequin, and the little mat that you put on the ground, they all came in on the same pallet, so that was kind of cool. 
I don't know what this is, but I can't. Uh... Oh, it's weird because it's like a, it's almost like the face of a. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. That's coming out. If you turn it, turn it so that they. So I can see that. You can't really tell what it is, but uh, the parts, like the. So I don't know. I don't it's know. Like it's like a drawer. Uh, mm -hmm some type of drawer set and looks like it's broken but we could probably get some wood glue fix that depending on how the front of it looks that'll be a local sale sell it used this is a ladder I think oh, we need a ladder the four steps actually we do need this we might need this ladder for this next this and that's the thing about a lot of these pallets that you do is uh you yeah, can't sell it all on eBay uh, some of it is going to have to be sold locally. Here, look at the bottom of the box. We needed a bigger ladder, so That'll it looks work. like we've got a step stool now because some of the stuff's on, pretty... Now, but it's broken on the bottom, we might have to repair it. Yeah, we should go repair that though. The bolts are coming loose on the bottom. Yeah, it's like it's lost its weld, but we can fix that and use it here. light it's a light box here I'm gonna tilt it here so y'all can see but you're gonna have to figure out a way to sell it locally so what we do is what or what we're gonna do is once we have amassed enough stuff I think actually the first weekend of December is we're gonna open up to the public it's like this is a uh, some sort of rack we get lots of these it's not M design if it was M Design, I would be excited because M Design usually sells for pretty good money. But this looks to be unbranded. Nothing on the box, so it's going to be a local sale. Is an air fryer, babe? Air fryer? Right here. Awesome. I might need you to lift the rest of these. They're kind of, uh, they're teamless, so. Air fryers are pretty good money. We've sold several air fryers for anywhere from uh, 50 to 100 bucks. And uh, see if I can look. I don't know what brand this is. Uh, TriStar Products. But we'll look, see what kind of condition it is on the inside. I don't know if you, if y'all don't have an air fryer, you should get one. They're pretty good. They cook pretty quick. Um, I know wings, I love wings. And yeah, this sucker hasn't even been uh, it's looking good. All the stuff's in here, it's brand new. Hasn't been bagged. It's all in there. So we'll check it out. We'll do some further inspection on it. But I'm gonna look this up real quick because I bet this is a hundred something bucks for, for this item. TriStar Power Air Fryer XL 8 quart. That's it. This is a canopy, a 10 by 10. Ooh, I like it. I wish I could see what's inside it. What is it? It's a canopy. Kind of like the one we sold last week? Yeah, but this oh. one, I can tell it could be, if it's like fully covered, it could be up to $200, but I think it's just the the top. I know what I keep doing with my mouse. There we go. Anyways, this air fryer, uh, eight quart family size uh, power air fryer, uh, it's looking like it's selling for about 200 bucks. So this will sell pretty quick. If we got this in last week, we probably could have already sold it because uh, it's a rotisserie also. So somebody could have cooked a big fat turkey in this sucker. Check this stuff yeah. out. It's real heavy. Well, what it is, it's got some. Well, let me look up the. Uh, the uh... She's gonna look this up. Oh, we got air filters. Ooh. It's like we got some air filters in. I'll let y'all see that. And. Uh, even though they are a little torn, 
somebody will still buy these. Can't even get them out of the box. But these are a little busted on the end. And uh, but I've sold some that are busted before a little discount. These uh, I've sold several air fryers. May not be able to do with any of that first one. But this is a, a true blue. Uh, I've sold several sets of air filters for some reason through eBay's global shipping program. I'm not sure why. It may be hard to get air, air filters uh, overseas. But I have no idea. But I'm interested to see what's worth now because I'm already time invested in this sucker. If y'all are just tuning in, comment and let us know where you're from. If you are a reseller uh, or if you're just checking out this channel. You know, uh, we used to do a lot of phone farming stuff. So I know I've got phone farmers that come in every once in a while and check things out. And if you want to know what phone farming is, you can go back and check out the channel. You can also look up phone farming. It's a good way to earn some uh, little extra income. Uh, it's not going to make you rich. But if you're needing a couple hundred bucks a month, it's something you might look at doing. Uh, for a reasonably low uh, cost of buying old used cell phones. And uh, of course I'm not going to find this air filter now. Now that I've already spent like 10 minutes doing it. But it's looking like other air filters. Uh, about this True Blue, one air filter selling for 25 bucks. So we might be able to salvage those and uh, get, you know, 20, 30 bucks out of them. Those are light bulb replacement bolts. Ah, well hopefully they're trying to be broke. Yeah. And what we got here. It's like a match fold goal. Oh let me look it up. I think it's probably like a soccer goal. Quick what? It's a 12 by 6 foot quick play match fold goal. It's probably a soccer a soccer goal. It is. That's right, awesome we got another one of those bookshelves in. What size is it? Uh, it looks like the gold. Yeah. 12 by 6. I mean, we got a lot of uh, kind of a dud palette. You know, we'll for sure make our money back on it. We'll for sure make some money off well, of it. Well, that, if that is this, which I believe it is, then it's a $260 gold. So we got a, a soccer goal. 260 bucks. I don't know if y'all can see it. And uh, you That's see there? This, this dude is right here. Full soccer right here. It's what that box is over there. So, I mean, new, obviously 12 by 6 foot, uh, 250 bucks. So, probably something that uh, we will try to sell locally because I don't want to try and put it together. But this is a bunch of broken, some type of uh, shelving unit, maybe one of those cube organizers. But it's all busted, so uh, I might use that to build me something. Because, uh, like I said earlier, I don't like to throw stuff away. I'm cheap. Woo. Go throw this on the furniture pile. Put that there. Canopy. This is the canopy, yeah. Did you see the pipes on it? I did. The problem is, is that I there's not enough information on the box to see exactly you. which canopy it is. It could be anywhere from 150 to 250. Depends on how much coverage, like the canopy is. Yeah. So we'll have to we'll have to open it up probably and see inside. We sold one of these before. It's a Noah Megatron. It's a, a bed frame. Uh, the bed frame we sold before, uh, I think we sold it for like a hundred bucks. It cost like fifty bucks to ship. I don't know if y'all can even hear me over there. Move this out of the way. Oh, it's a big shot. canopy. So you're probably wondering, like, yeah, you're seeing if you've been watching this for a while, we've been getting a lot of summer stuff on this pallet. That's just kind of how it goes. You know, we're at the tail end uh, of of summer, fall. What's well, technically still fall? No, it's winter now. Isn't it winter? No, it's still fall. And uh, so we're getting a lot of summer items. Uh, it's kind of the name of the, the game with pallets. You know, I don't know how long they set at Amazon before uh, they got shipped to uh, our resource or our uh, supplier. But uh, we got other canopy stuff. We've sold. I sold a gazebo. 
uh, last week for uh, 130 bucks, I think. And uh, I didn't know if all the pieces there. It was like a $250 gazebo, brand new on Amazon. I didn't know if all the parts were there. And uh, I didn't feel like putting it together or uh, testing it out. Uh, so I just sold it for 130 as is. And, uh, but we'll see what this is. It's in the bag and everything. So at some point when it's warmer, we will probably unbox it and see how it goes. Let's see. This box says storage, but it's really light. I don't even know what's in it. DL furniture. I'm looking it up for it. I don't think I'm gonna leave this on the pallet. Well, I don't know. This might be something. Let's see. Open it up and see. It's like this box here is a strut assembly for a 2000 Dodge Caravan. So, I don't know what it's going to look like. This is like so nerve-wracking, I don't know what it's going to look like. Oh, it's cute! It's a... Uh, That's cool. It's a fully put together little... It doesn't look broken at all. So, uh, yep, and there's the knob. I was like, it's missing a knob. No, it's not. There's a knob right here. So it's like a little, little side yeah. table, cute little... But you see this right here it's a uh, turn table kind of cool looking we sold a record player we had a smaller one uh, a few weeks ago that we sold for like 40 bucks so I'm sure this is probably gonna go for more I would hope so anyways it's a one by one nostalgic wooden turn table so, we'll see uh, what it's like on the inside, uh, but it's Amazon right now. It looks like for $170. I'm going to check eBay price real quick. And I had somebody, somebody local looking for, John was, my brother-in-law was looking for a record player. So this might be something. It looks like they're actually selling for more on eBay than Amazon. So, uh... And maybe even something that you could drop ship. Uh, but I'm not finding a lot that were sold. A lot, a lot that are active. So we'll probably have to uh, underprice this one just to get rid of it. Well, I say just to get rid of it. You know, they're, they're on eBay. They're for 170 So depending on the condition of it. Uh, if it's still new, if it's a new other, I'll probably come in at 150 And it's looking like it's still new. It's still got the... Uh, no can't tell it's like it's got the protective uh, yeah it still has the uh, protective film on here which is a good thing and uh, but we'll test it out see how it goes if anything used it'll bring a hundred bucks uh, shipping only weighs probably about 15 pounds so uh, FedEx shouldn't be too bad for this right here so that's awesome I'll put it over here maybe maybe go on yours on your queue Sounds good. And then it looks like we just got two more boxes. We got a heavy team lift box. Make sure which side it's up. Which one are you looking at? Oh, I was looking at that. That, That's, uh, you know, what is it? This may be a farm sink, possibly. Farm sinks get my heart. Yeah, we've gotten three farm sinks in so far. It sucked. The first one was a thousand dollar porcelain farm sink, but it was destroyed. It was broken. Can I put this spot on the ground before I open it? In case it's broken? I mean, if it's a farm sink, it looks like it is. I gotta get that bottom part. But then we've gotten two. No, what is that? 
I'm gonna need, you should probably get to bring <laughs> them to you. I guess y'all can come over here for the last couple boxes. And uh, cause we have no idea what this is. I'm about to try and restart the phone. What's up, Indiana man? And uh, no coolers. I've got, uh, I don't know if you can see this right here. It looks like a solar panel or something. And, uh, oh, I know what this is. This is a 3D printer. Exciting. I think that's what that is. Um, so, this is the third one. I don't know if you can hold this for a second. Sure. See if I can find some literature. I'm going to flip this here. around and hold it. not 3d printer um, it's still uh, I'm at a loss it's still uh, Let me see I don't know filament detection function oh, instruction yeah. but it's got to be a, uh, a 3d printer uh, I guess the problem for us is going to be finding out uh, I've never seen one like this. All the ones that I've ever seen are put together. Um, so, uh, uh, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fun to see. Because, uh, I, I have know. no idea. Hopefully there's some markings somewhere on it. Uh, all this is in, a um, some, some other language. Yep. But it's a 3D printer because 3D printers use filament. And here, filament detection thing in the bottom. I don't know. What do y'all think it is? Because I have no idea. It looks like a 3D printer. If Randy was on, he might be able to tell what it is. But there's nothing on there. Either way it goes. But it looks like it may have been used. Maybe they tried to put it together. And like us, they really had no idea what it was. Because uh, it's looking kind of confusing. I don't see anything. Yeah, CXSW3D.com. So what was that? Yeah. CXSV3. Wait. Three? No. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm so confused now. <laughs> I'm reading upside down. CXSW3D.com. Well, it says 3D, so. So it's a 3D something. But, uh. Your dad may be getting this well, one. Well, it brought me to a. Yeah. Another language, but it looks like a 3D printer to me. Yeah. It looks like that might be it. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. Or that may be it. <laughs> it's, <laughs> one of, it's one of those. It's not a, a total enclosed one. Cooler says he has to run, continue having fun, and hope you get more cool stuff to sell. Yes. And then this is a bookshelf. I think this is the same one we got in last week. And uh, uh, I can't remember the name of it. But I uh, know it's a bookshelf. I think the bookshelf, it looks brand new on the inside. It doesn't look to be put together. And uh, I love shelves like that. Those little open shelves. I think they look so nice. But uh, they're selling for, I think the one that we've, we still got it, it's not for sale. I got somebody coming to pick it up. I think we sold it for $150 or $175. Uh, so we'll probably be able to do the same thing for this one. And uh, I'll probably just, I know we're not supposed to. But I will probably use the stock photos on this and uh, sell it locally on uh, eBay Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace? Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Yeah, it looks like this is uh, the same one we had last week, and uh, except for this one is the black one. Oh, uh, nice. I'm not sure. Maybe it's retro brown. 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 Retro brown or uh, what have you, but it's five tier. I'm sitting down, y'all. I'm tired. So the five, the one we got last week was four tier. So this one's five tier, 
and uh, it sells for two twenty oh, on Amazon. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. So uh, that one will sell. We'll probably sell it for one seventy-five. I'm looking at this. Is this the only box left? This yeah, one right here. Yeah, that's a. Uh, we talked about that box. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, you're recording me. I'm just. I don't know. Why not? Uh, Okay. Y'all, look at We've been working so hard. Do you see all those beautiful shelves over there? Yeah. Full of listed items. Oh, my gosh. It just makes me so happy to it see that. Let's pull up there. Go up there. Give me a little tour. Okay. Should We're going to give go. you a little tour. We're going. We're going. I like to bring my kids up here and be like, everything the light touches will be yours. <laughs> There you go. Isn't it beautiful? Look how beautiful that is. It's one of my favorite parts about reselling is seeing the fruit of your labors. I like to end the day and see all the stuff that I do, I, I've done. Now we got a lot of cardboard, babe. Yeah. Anyways, I think that's about it for uh, this video. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, if you haven't liked it already and you do like it, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you are new to this channel, subscribe. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Safe travels. We'll probably try and do another one later this week, maybe on Wednesday or Friday. Uh, for sure, I know one of those days we'll do one. I don't know if it'll be Wednesday or Friday. And uh, probably Wednesday, because you'll be here Wednesday, right? Yep. Yeah, so Wednesday we will do one probably around 3 o'clock also. And that's it. Toodles. Peace out.